fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns yeah. right away. Well, this is about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive knees into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a by. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, he we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at the turtle in that kick. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping. He's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he has taken. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Elbow now blocked. Oh, huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, is that a big move? The body will see if he can follow up. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Big body kick lands. Now connects with a right. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you got to be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Back to the feet now. Spinning back fist is there. And that he comes knee. through with a big knee. He hurt him. Oh, big left hook there. Just a slip there. And both guys. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He might be out. He went high on that one. Double leg, 
big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush. And the best fighters in the world are those who make adjustments. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So one thing you can do is close the distance. Don't give him space to leg kick you over and over again. Get close. Fight from the clinch. Take that leg kick away by managing the distance. Dig and kick. Right hand punch the clinch. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Nice move. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Superman punch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Big elbow. That was a jab. Lands a nice one, too. Series of strikes for him there, staying good. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Take down defense on point. He is a master in transition. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see as the pump starts to slow down, cannot take many of those kicks. The horn sounds for the end of round one. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Nice kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Whoa! So you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here from Bob. Seems to be, oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go change that finish down now. Exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big kick lands. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Trying to establish that jab once again. Lee gets caught with that punch. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. Continues to mix it up, coming to the head, mixing in some body shots. Three minutes now to go in round two. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Hands high, hands high. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Getting lit up 
up right now, John. It almost looked like you went limp there for a second. Oh, vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, You've man. You got to check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very shortly. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Get you, get you. Those leg kicks, man. That's his investment. His investment is in the leg kicks. That's how he slows these guys down and he breaks them down. Nice straight punch. Punches blocked. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, straight right. looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not get... Oh! Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Seconds to go. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Lee's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Solid strike on the ground. A lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. Okay, good. Drink some water. Breathe. Relax, okay? Not a big deal. We've been knocked down before. It's okay. We're gonna get back up. We're gonna... Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Powerful leg kick land. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. Nice punch there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh! oh. Serve him up. Go get him. Back to the feet. Oh! All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And just like fight, so a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up.